Hey, what's the deal? Proud community, stand up. Hope y'all met someone, a friend, or someone you could have slow movement with and determination, right? But anyway, child, we back on Ponies Tarot. Please like and subscribe. And I did a energy reading already, and I deleted it because I just felt like it was the same old shit. Comics been slut and um out here trying to make themselves either look good trying to find a replacement for your person uh trying to get money doing the same shit so we need to see what is the current situation is that someone are you wealthy fuel king or queen baby dream do not pass go do not collect the million okay so you're doing good in your life and you're helping people with world hunger are you helping people learn things like I do things or I did something for the little kids it was something simple but they liked it and a, a lot of them came to get it and then it was uh, it, it was sweet so that was fulfilling for me in the new beginning because it was some adults as well yes that's the current you're detaching you're moving on with your life. You're representing who you want to be. No, no more of that bullshit. That's the current situation, and that's the present. And so what's the challenge, and what's the past with the two? This is a five-card spade. The challenge is these jealous-ass bitches. This Leo energy, this Aquarius, not Aquarius, Aries energy. Or maybe even Sagittarius or Gemini energies. Or a Libra energy. Mm-hmm. For some of y'all, even, um... Maybe what's the other one? Aquarius energy. What ideas are you ready to imply with others? So I guess when you apply your energy out there, what you love and passionate about, either you have people trying to block it, out their minds that you've changed and that you're not with the bullshit and that you want these hoes, you help these hoes. That's why you could talk about these hoes, went through debt with these hoes, you know, and now they jealous. They won't accept it. You know, when you bust out with your passion, people get jealous and try to block it, even with jobs. Even with the people, you know, you probably try to talk to, they stuck in the past, and when you try to talk about the future, they think you bragging or they just feel like they are irrelevant. That's not your fault. So watch out for that type of shit. And then we got three. Guidance in the future was, is that you're not a simp. And you don't enjoy this sort of thing. What situation in your life requires analyzing and researching? Maybe some of y'all are in the field of change, in deception, uh, in decisive. Restricted options, felt negotiation, lack of activity with this Aquarius energy. Yeah, you probably getting more self respect, not doing things for people that do the least. No more for you. You know, you don't do the most for people no more, like trying to help them. You get that these people like to be losers and they don't really they like if I could be a loser why can't you it works for me why we all can't be losers together they this could be a person that's okay with probably being a loser and there's nothing wrong with that but don't come try to block the fucking collective and get jealous that's why they can't move on because you're like a magnet but anyway, child, that is your guidance, you know. You're not putting people before you. These pages of swords, people with a little heart and intellect. 
You know, that little 40 money, honey. You don't want that ratchet shit. So what else we going to five? No, we're going to four. Sorry. Focus. God damn it. Future. So here we go. Got my hand right on it. Yeah. Focus, god damn it. Don't let shit trigger you with this purple so you don't miss out on your royalties. Be and you don't and you stop being creative. So you you put a dent or you know in your wealth and what you can have, like you staying out that mood. The focus in the future, baby, so you can get that justice. Bam, put the stake in the motherfucking ground. Sitting on that concrete ass seat with love, passion, anger, and determination. Yes. Choice energy, mind your business. Someone occupied with money, high status. Not a, a risk taker. You're not into the bullshit. You're into the wealth. Better yourself, security, thriving high. Yeah, success. A, a mature male energy in you, whether you're a female or not, you still moving in it. But you are balanced with that Libra at the top. Probably ready for a relationship or what you deserve in a relationship, you know. Everybody shouldn't have to drop, date a bus driver. Everybody shouldn't have to lower their standards and it's not lowering their standards. How would you think a bus driver would feel comfortable maybe dating a woman with confidence or dating a woman that's always grown in a business if they're in that empress energy and then you have to see let her go date someone she think is on her level can she keep up <laughs> so you gotta let people learn on their own yes let them learn on their own five Potential and speed. Uh, not speed, I'm reading the wrong part. Potential and outcome, right? Yeah. Your potential is with this fucking energy, this master energy, and you balance with this, completing the cycle with that 11. Like completing the cycle with the 10 friend and letting this be the last motherfucking one for 11 to be triggering you and trying to come at you with your, about your motherfucking money. Bitch, no, they gonna get hit because you don't need no motherfucking 10, 11 car. You don't need no dinner and wine. I don't need no tennis shoes. I don't need you to buy me no joys, boo, get my hair cut because this is just what we do. Mm -hmm. What situation in your life is calling you to have logical and clarity? Ooh, we doggy. Ooh, we doggy. Yes. You do not need nobody babysitting you. You need somebody that needs to get on the fucking train and let's go. You're in reality. You have logical and clarity. You stand with it with this Aquarius on the mountain. You the goat right now. You Jordan. You Oprah, goddammit. It's impulsive, it's creative, it's intellectual, it's fair, fun-loving, romantic, sociable, charming, yes. That's what's up. So yes, that is your five-card spread, excuse me, and yes. Let's see. So you need to avoid simp pages and people that don't know shit, that's fear of change, indecisive, restricted options, failed negotiations, can't agree to shit or don't do what they say they're going to do and lack of activity. You got to stay away from people like this. Little heart and intellect can't communicate. Nobody has time for that. Let's see what the angels say. I knew it was something I need to do before I go. Yes, romantic feelings. You are feeling, your feelings are real and worth exploring, Sagi baby. Mm -hmm. The true, the uh, true love. This is romantic lifetime. Getting to know each other as you reveal your inner self to each other, your bond. 
Today, friends. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, confirmation, and visualization helps bring in, bring it together. Bring you together. Bring y'all together. Whatever you get what I'm trying to say. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yes. Yes, Sunday. So I hope you like and subscribe. I hope you let me know. Look at my community board for my email. Look in there for descriptions to contact me for a personal read. And it will be very fun. And yes, see you next time. And you know, I want to say on that last energy real quick. It was just basically karmic is going around and dealing with people. And I feel like this karmic is one of those energies where, and I'm not trying to be funny or be mean to nobody because people don't know this, you know, that um, a man is really never your friend. So it seems like this karmic could be dealing with people or male figures or even females that they're like, oh, these are my friends and my coworkers and all this shit and all this, and they really sleeping with them. Are they really old bar friends or people they have crushes on? And they're going around these people, even their friends and families, and their, their business is probably not just all out, but they're steady having to complain about it. Because you really trigger this person. You really trigger this karmic. You really trigger your person. And it, all he talked about is how some narcissistic emperor in reverse wants to come in and abuse you. Social paths cannot exist trying to use someone. So it's like if this person wants to continue to keep coming back in your life and use you, and you know they're not that smart, so they're not like a psychopath. And that's the cousins of the narcissist, right? So the sociopath, the one that will uh, be gay for pay, the one she will uh, hump on anything, go back and forth to women and men. One day she a girl, one day she a boy type shit. I don't know, borderlines. But anyway, yeah. You have this couple that really didn't ever even see value probably in themselves until they seen that you had it. And then they tried to say you was a diddy or you needed to be knocked down or you really ain't got it going on when they didn't even know what you were sacrificing or what you was going through. But they didn't care because you just was constantly reminding people of what they're not doing. Every time you post that picture, every time you they saw you or you wasn't around and they had to go through shit, you was reminding them of what they were not in this fucking world. So keep that in mind and how fucking important you are and to be safe and to go different ways home and to learn maybe to go through your backyard door instead of the garage or the front. You know, just do switch your shit up and be safe. See you later on today.